I obviously think some of Dr. King's best writing uh, came in that Birmingham jail cell. You know, something about incarceration and solitude and detention, it sobers you. And you realize that you can't lie, you have to speak truth. And there was a truth in the letter from the Birmingham jail because I think Dr. King felt uh, stung by not the hostility of those who were vowing segregation forever, not the hatred and animosity of those who hated any person of color. What he was stung and burdened by was the silence and indifference of those who proclaimed Christ, who said they were committed to the gospels and equality. And it was their silence that in some ways was the bigger threat, the bigger injury to this ability to transform. And, and I think about that letter as really, uh, like so many of the letters, that, uh, that the epistles that we read in the Gospels and in the New Testament that are rooted in this real yearning for truth to, to prevail. And I do think that um, it's a powerful moment in the history of this country when he asks these questions to those who believe in justice, to those who believe in freedom, those who believe in equality, why are you silent? Why are you not active? Why are you not outraged? And I think Dr. King did have an insight that was powerful. We have the quote from him, as you enter our memorial, where he says, true peace is not the, is not the absence of tension, it's the presence of justice. It's not calm that gives way to, 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 to justice. It's the absence of injustice. And I think there is something sobering about incarceration and the honest expressions that we get on a regular basis from our clients.